So in this video, we're going to be learning how to follow users. So to follow users, we obviously have to store the followers somewhere. So we're going to create a new database table. And to create a new database table involves creating another model. So we're just going to paste our model in here, and then we're going to migrate it. So we run make migrations, then we run migrate, and then we can run our server. So to follow a user, we go to their profile page, and we're going to click this follow button. And when we do that, it's going to send an Ajax request. So back on URLs, we're going to create one more URL called Ajax follow. It's going to go to the Ajax follow view. Just like usual, we're going to create one one more view. There's our Ajax follow view. It's the exact same as our like photo view. It takes a get request and you have to be logged in to follow somebody. And we actually do the process of following in our Ajax follow class. So back on forms, we're going to create another class called Ajax follow and this is it here. So to follow a user, what we do is we send a get request and we pass the username of the person we want to follow. And then of course, if it's a malformed request, we stop the request. We check if the user's logged in and then we check if the follower is that actual user themselves. We don't want people to be able to follow themselves. So we put this check in just to make sure that that can't happen. And it's quite similar to liking a post. So what we do is we check if I'm not following this user because user is gonna be the person I want to follow and follower is gonna be me. So I'm the logged in user. So we check if the current user who's logged in is following this person by checking if a row exists in the followers table. So to follow a user, all we do is insert a row into our followers table that says user is the person I want to follow and follower is going to be me. I save that and I set following to true. Otherwise, I'm already following them and I want to unfollow them. So to do that, I just find that same row that I just added and I delete it from the database and then I set following equal to false and I just output that as JSON. So in our profile, you can see there's no text in this button. So to fix that, what we're going to do is scroll down. And now that we have a followers table, we can check if we're following a particular user. So to do that, we just check if there's no row in the followers table for this user, we aren't following them. So the button's going to say follow. Otherwise, it's going to say unfollow. Then we just want to add that variable to our template. So we just go in here and paste this in. And we just want to include our followers model. And in our profile feed, we're just going to fix a bug I found. We're just going to delete that because we're supposed to be getting the username from up here, not the user who's currently logged in. And one more bug we have to fix is just scroll up to the top. We want to include our followers model in our forms. So now if I click on follow, I'm not logged in as Francis anymore. I'm logged in as how code because you can't follow yourself. So if I click on follow, you can see the button updated to unfollow. I go to the database and you can see there now how code is following Francis. If I delete it, now you can see that relationship is gone. So now if I refollow Francis and I go onto the home page, you can see I can't see any of Francis's photos, even though I'm following him. So we need to fix that. So to do that, I'm just going to replace our Ajax photo feed with this slightly modified version. So I haven't changed very much. So what I've done is create a list and I've called it followers list. And by default, we're including our own username in that because we're going to use the followers list to fix figure out what photos we're supposed to show a particular user. So what we do is we retrieve every user the person is following by going to the followers table and just checking if the follower field is equal to the logged in user's username. And we just add that to our followers list. And here is where we're downloading the profile pictures. So what we do is we go through every user in the followers list and we download their profile photo from the database. And if they don't have one, we provide the default. And then what we do is we retrieve the photos and we just check if the owner of the photo, the person who uploaded it, is in the follower list. Then we want to retrieve that photo. And those are the only changes that I've made. So now if I refresh the page, I'm logged in as how code, but how code's following Francis. So if I refresh, I should see the photo that Francis uploaded. And now you can see I've seen the photo Francis uploaded because I was following that user. So if I click on my profile, you can see I'm logged in as high code and I have no photos. But on the home page, I can see Francis's photos and Francis's profile photo because I'm following him. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. Don't forget to go to the description and sign up for your free upload car account so they can get the project going. And in the next video, which will be the final video of the series, we're going to be using upload cars, facial recognition features to tag users. And we're also going to be learning how to get our website online. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.